morning to you. How are you? If you don't know who I am, my name is Sharon. Contrary to the popular belief of my name scrolling past your newsfeed, it's Sharon, not Sharon. Happy Wednesday to you. How are you doing? Okay, so we are going to make good coffee as usual, as per usual, right? Right? Let's fix this just a tad. That way I got a little. There we go. There we go. All right. So, Skinny Brew yesterday, I made a mocha. It was so delicious. But today, I just want regular coffee. How do you make regular coffee? You just add it to hot water. That is it. And so, Skinny Brew has 225 milligrams of caffeine. So, you only need one cup. Only one cup. It's so cool. And it keeps you full and focused with our nootropics. It burns your fat and your calories. And with the aptogens that help keep and relieve your stress you need this coffee especially because like when our bodies like especially like when we're like stressing out on losing weight we can start releasing cortisol and so then that's counteractive but because of the skinny brew that has this natural stress aptogens in it that'll help to stop all that extra cortisol block um releasage I'm telling you, you need this copy. So then I just open it up. And then I just add it to water and that's it. I like adding my cream. You can add any type of cream that you would like. I kind of just add whatever cream that my husband buys. <laughs> if you want to do sugar-free, you totally could. Um, I'm not really a sugar-free girl because I don't like the aspartame taste. I do not like that taste. So I will do the regular. I'll do the regular. So that's what I do. And here we are. And that's pretty much it to make the coffee. So there is that. All right, Wednesday, Wednesday. Yesterday, we had a really good conversation about, um, what was it, sacrificing? No, that was Saturday. We had a lot of good conversation about um, what it takes to actually continue on. Today, I wanted to kind of just highlight and touch on what it's going to take for you to just start what's it gonna take for you to just start and i know like i talk about these types of things all the time but i really believe that if you once you continue to keep hearing it like maybe sometimes it may click you know um because like here's the thing we all need to be really good stewards of our body and if we're not being good stewards to our body that's when we have these ailments like diabetes heart attack stroke all these things and that's not what, you know, that's not what we're here for. Okay? Let's just be real. We're not here for all of that. We're here to be the healthiest version that we can be. And so how do you do that? How do you do that? So how do you start? How do you just start? Well, it starts by a decision in your brain. It's a decision in your brain that starts. Hey, Dale, how are you? Thanks for joining. It starts with a decision in your brain. Okay. And it actually starts with a feeling, like for real. Like, I'll give you that. Like, you may know something, but it may not move you to doing something. What will move you to do something is not necessarily the knowing, it's the feeling, okay? Because you can know that you need to lose weight all you want to, but that's not going to move you to the next the, the next um, goal, so to speak, unless you actually feel something. So for me, I knew I was overweight. I knew I was overweight, but it wasn't until I, I seen myself in pictures and that's when I felt something that's when I felt like oh I don't want to be that big I don't want to look that big in pictures I don't want that at all I don't want that you know and then like um in my family like I got so much stupid ailments and everything they believe it's almost a birthright to have that crap and I just I'm like I am not about to do that that is not no I don't think so the buck stopped here and it ain't happening okay thank you very much because we prevent it we don't allow it because in our culture we i don't even care it doesn't even matter what type of black person you are we all have diabetes heart attack um heart disease all these things but it's on us to put in the right things into our body it don't matter it doesn't matter we have to put the right things into our body so how do you start how do you start? It starts by you having that feeling. It's a feeling. It's a feeling. Like, 
for me, it was a feeling that I don't want to see myself that big ever, ever again. I don't ever want to see myself like in those types of pictures ever again. I don't ever want that. And so when I felt that feeling, that's what moved me to like doing something. That's what moved me from my point of being stuck and oh my gosh, I've tried this all before and you know, it's never really worked for me and whatever the shoulda, woulda, coulda, all that crap. All that crap went out of the, went out of the window when I felt something in my own spirit was like, I need to do something and I need to do something quick. Okay. Another feeling that I felt was I, I had like always, always, we would always be going out and different things, you know, not saying that we'd go off fancy, but I would, you know, have like an idea of like something that I would be able to wear in my closet. I would go into my closet and not be able to wear it. And then I would feel so, so, so discouraged that the outfit that I decided in my brain that I just thought of in my brain that looked amazing in my head would not even pan out at all. So then I had to like quickly like, you know, fix things up and to kind of, you know, make it work, you know, kind of just, you know, settle for the outfit that I just you know, it just you know, it didn't really, it didn't really pan out in my head. And so for me, so for me, that's what moved me to start losing weight. That's what moved me. What started me to move to for the book was that knowing that I can do it, knowing that I can actually write a book. I wrote a book in a whole weekend. I wrote a book in a weekend because it was the determination that I had that, oh, I could just do this. It's easy. I can do that. Like, you know, like the information that I have in my brain. Oh, great. I can take that out and I can put that in a book. Not a problem. I sat down and wrote a book in a weekend. Do you know that you can do that? Do you know that you can do that? It's when you set your mind and you keep it set on the things that you would like to see happen. See, I set my mind so that I actually wanted to lose the weight. I didn't set my mind to the 80 pounds. I really didn't because that wasn't really what I wanted. What I really wanted was the 100 pounds. I'm still on that journey for 100 pounds. But I got to 80 pounds and I've just been like, oh, girl, you're feeling really good. But you know, you know, but it... And I'll tell you what has not really moved me from this point of being 80 pounds and have kept it off. It's the feeling. It's the feeling that I get. Again, it's the feeling. I feel absolutely amazing. If I didn't lose another pound, I feel freaking amazing. Okay? <laughs> I look great at 38 years old. I don't even look 38. So if I stopped right now, I feel freaking amazing. I feel amazing. But that that other feeling that I have, like in the back, like in the back of my mind, is like, oh, but you didn't get 200 pounds. So my feelings is like, okay, well then, like let's let's start up again. Do you know what I'm saying? And so it's, it may not necessarily be the knowing that you have to that you that will move you to doing something else different. It's the feeling. And so, what type of feeling? do you have when you're about to start something figure that out you know and if you don't have a feeling because oh you want to lose weight but you don't have that feeling like in your spirit spirit like oh I just you know I, I've already done that before I just I'm not really sure you know I've already tried those businesses I'm just too busy you know good morning good morning sis buenos dias como estas it's like oh I've already had that feeling before I've already done that before it's like have you really, or do you not, are, are you complacent in where you're at and you're super comfortable and you're not really looking for other, another string of income? Let's talk about that because this business can actually change like the trajectory of your life. You believe that like your time is like the most important for you to get paid for, but what if you were actually getting paid for that work ethic? Would that look a little bit different? Would not look a little different for you. And I'm just trying to stretch your mind and your capability to see something absolutely different. Do you think that um, that you can be a millionaire within five years of your nine to five job? If you can, then hallelujah. Prove me wrong. But I know that a nine to five job, sitting at the hourly wage that you're at, you cannot be a millionaire within five years. That's not happening. That's not happening. What if you were to, if you had the opportunity to make a million dollars? What if you had the opportunity to do that? Would you, would you start the business? Would you start the business knowing that you had the opportunity to make a million dollars or more? Would you start the opportunity? 
Like, let's be real here. Let's be real. What would that do for you and your family? What if you can save five figures a month? What if you can save five figures in the year? Come on, let's talk about it, y'all. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. There are actual businesses out there that can actually get you there. But when you're only looking at one particular thing, like one thing, that's all you can ever see. So I try to expand your net, your horizon, your horizon. I got people to, oh, Sharon, I'm so busy. I got this, 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 and this, and that. What if you cannot, what if you didn't have to work all those three jobs? What if you didn't have to work all them three jobs? What if you can only do like your ministry and then maybe another side hustle, maybe another, you know what I'm saying? What if you didn't have to work tirelessly, tirelessly like that? What if you didn't have to do that? Because that's not what we're supposed to be doing out here, y'all. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Our own, our, our mandate in this, in this life is not just to work feverishly, feverishly, and then die. That's not, no. That's not what we're supposed to be doing here. We don't, we're not supposed to be, all of our time is not supposed to be inundated in all the things all the time. That's just, no. No, 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 no. That's not, a, that's not an abundant life. An abundant life is actually like being able to enjoy the life that you have created. That's an abundant life that the Lord has implanted in your heart, mind, and soul, and spirit. That is an abundant life. An abundant life is not you working your butt off three, four, five different jobs so that you can just make it. That's not an abundant life, y'all. That's not an abundant life. What is an abundant life is, again, being able to enjoy it at the right appropriate times. I'm telling y'all, I love you guys so very much. And I want you guys to understand where I'm coming from for you. All you have to do for real friends is move from the place of knowing and get to a place of feeling. Hey, sis, how are you? You need to get to a place of feeling, like feeling it. Because I'm telling you, you will not be able to do anything if you don't feel it. Like I'm telling you, I knew that I needed to lose weight, boo. But it wasn't until the feeling, hey, sis, how are you? Thanks for joining. It wasn't until the feeling I had of seeing myself in pictures was like, oh, hell no. I am not about to do that. That's what moved me from, oh, I don't know if I could do this to, I'm freaking doing this, okay? I'm doing this and I'm going to feel good about it, okay? All right? But when you are sitting there and you don't have that feeling attached to it and you just have that knowing, it may not move you to the goal that you are that you actually set because just knowing a thing, is, it doesn't move you. It doesn't move you. It doesn't move you. Because some there are people who know all the time all these things. Knowledge on ice. Does it, it doesn't move you for it doesn't move you towards anything. But will what will move you towards something is the feeling that's attached to it. The feeling that's attached. Oh, I'm overweight. You know that you're overweight, but you know, mm, I, I don't really like seeing myself in pictures. I don't really like the way that makes me feel. That's what moves you. That's what moves you. But you just knowing, like I, you know, some people just know they got diabetes, but they're not about to do anything because it's, there's no feeling attached to it. There's no feeling. Do you know what I'm saying? There's no feeling. You can have you can have diabetes and then all of a sudden like you're you're fine with taking that insulin. You're fine with it. But until that moment when you're just like, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm so tired of shooting myself every single day. I'm so tired of buying this insulin. That's what's gonna move you to a different place. Hallelujah. So true, you only so true, only you know when you have had enough. That's right. I was done looking pregnant. Boo, t tell me about it. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. When I see myself in pictures, I was like, ugh, I look so pregnant. Oh, no, child. We need to do something about this. Oh, that was the feeling that I had. It was time to change, baby. It was time to change, okay? <laughs> it was time to change because I don't do that again. If you drop my stuff. It won't even be an, it won't even be a nice life. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, friends. Walk, walk, walk. 
walk. Thank you. <laughs> the peanut gallery, y'all. The peanut gallery. All right. I'm going to get going here. Have the best day of your life. Make sure that it's like, find that feeling that's going to allow you to move from one point to another. Again, it may not be the knowing. You may know something and it's not going to move you to that point of decision. But will what, what will move you to the point of decision is the feeling that's attached to it. So what are you feeling? What are you feeling? What are you feeling? All right, I'm going to get out. I'm going to drink my coffee. Ah, ah. Everybody say hi to Peanut Gallery. My mom's hands are cold. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, have the best day of your lives. I'll talk with you super soon.